Hey everybody, Heath Ditto coming to you from Coatings Hub on the How To Series. Today we're doing the US Saws Polyurea Pump and the person to show it to you right here, right now is our male model, Ben Rydell! There he is, Ben Rydell. All right, oh, throwing out the flexes, I love it. Um, the first thing, whenever you're gonna do polyurea, you wanna make sure that the B side, the polyol side is mixed well. You can kinda see the separation and color there. So Ben's gonna stir that up for us. And now we're looking for a low to medium speed. That's gonna play too fast, so we do gotta get it whipped up. So we're gonna mix this usually for two to three minutes until you have a consistent color. This has been pre-mixed once today, so we don't have to go too long. It looks great, Ben. Look at it, mix like a pro. Awesome. So now that this is a one consistent color, it's all good. So now we gotta think about the poly pump. There's an A side and a B side. Obviously, that's the B side that Ben's bringing in. So you're gonna set it on the side that it's gonna be in, and we're gonna pour that in. But first, before we pour that in, we want you to notice that there's oil already in the jugs here, okay? That's because the last person that cleaned it left the oil in. So Ben is going to pump that oil out, right? So to use this pump, we have to plug it into to power. It's gonna plug in right here. And then there's an on switch right here. But before you ever turn that on, you wanna make sure that you have this in a bu over a bucket because if it's on, then it's gonna start pumping when you turn on. Obviously it's off, so it's all good there. So Ben, show us, we're gonna have the speed control right here, but we also have an on off button on the bottom side right here. So notice that, so that's the on off, click your on, and then you can adjust your speed. He's gonna pump his oil through. Pumping everything out, it's pumping good. So we're gonna watch our oil here. So when it gets down to the bottom, we're gonna pour some polyurea in it. You see both sides pumping. All right, perfect. So when you see that, you turn it off. You click your, you turn your dial off. Click your off switch. And then for safety precaution, you can go ahead and just hit your off button down here while you're filling, just in case somebody bumps it. So then we're just gonna pour a small amount because today we're not doing joints. We're just showing the video. So we'll just cover the bottom. Make sure we're gonna have enough. Beautiful. Obviously have something plastic to set that on. Great job, Ben. I'm gonna pour some in on this side. Just enough to pump. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pump through to make sure we have consistent polyurea all the way through and then we're gonna add the static mixer. So we'll need to turn it on down at the bottom. Perfect, and now we got our switch. Click that, and now your speed control. Every time you stop it, you wanna turn that all the way off. And so we're gonna, we're gonna watch this and make sure when, when polyurea starts coming through here. Take it just a second. So we've got one side, we're gonna pump it through just a little bit more, just to make sure it's super consistent. Perfect, you can tell now that it's, it's perfect polyurea coming through, absolutely no oil left. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the tip, your static mixer tip, okay? So we'll just, we'll just lid those up. So you put that through, and then you're gonna thread that on to the end. So it should have a notch too, no? So you're just gonna screw that on. Now, one thing to be mindful of is once this tip is on, the polyurea is gonna be mixing inside the tip. Um, about every 15 seconds, you definitely need to, to do a squirt through. So if you've got a break in what you're doing, you wanna count out loud once you get this rolling through. So we're gonna pump some through. We're gonna pump some extra through to make sure it's all mixed. So can you actually see it coming down? All right, you see it coming through? That's what mixes it. So you're gonna pump through about 10 to 12 ounces. Perfect, and now you go straight to your joint. All right, and so what you're gonna do, anytime you show it off, you wanna count one, 1,000, 
two, one thousand, three, one thousand. If you get to ten, you want to just give it a squirt in your in your runoff bucket. Eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand. We don't want it to stop up in the tip. Just a quick squirt to keep it moving. Boom, perfect. And then you can get it. You get another fifteen seconds. So you want to be right by the joint where you're going to be whenever you're going to start pumping. So we've got six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. Boom, we'll pump a little bit more through. Perfect, all right, so once you're done with this, you're gonna pump it in the joint, you're gonna leave about uh, 30 minutes and then you can shave it. So we're not gonna pump joint here, we just wanna show pumping through. So now we're gonna take a look right in here. We're gonna take our tip off and then we're gonna drain this back out, okay? Because you have to clean this out at the end of each day. Turn it off. So you got, you got your button off, you got your dial off, you got your off switch down here. That way you're completely safe. There's no way it can pump. You take your stack mixer off. Now, if you have a lot of polyurea left in your bucket and you don't want to waste it, you can unhook here, pull these to each bucket and then pump it back into the bucket. But here, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna pump it in as waste because we barely have anything left. So your on switch on the bottom. Then you turn your on switch and now you got your dial. So we're just gonna pump that through. And you can see how consistent it's pumping through. We're just gonna pump it down to zero. And then we're gonna add xylene to pump through to clean it all out. And we'll put enough xylene in it just to make sure everything comes through clear. And you want to get down in the hole. All right, since this is drying up first, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little xylene. Let's turn it off before we pump it dry. So we still see a little bit here. So we'll add our xylene on this side, just to keep the pump primed up. All right. Then we're gonna pump through it, pump through the xylene. We're just pumping that through. You're gonna see the xylene start to come out one side. And when he gets low on the other side, now he's putting his xylene in on this side. We're gonna pump it through. He's gonna to try to pour it about the same to where we're not, not dry pumping it. We're not wasting too much of any one material. Looks great. Maybe we're on this side, hit yeah. All right, once you have your xylene, let's pump your xylene through and make sure that we get it all the way through. You only need about um, a couple quarts, but when, you're, when your colored side goes clear, is when you have a pretty good indication of when you have good xylene coming through, everything's rinsed out. You can see it clearing up there. And I'm just gonna pump that all the way out. You can see here. Now, if you had filled this up, you do want to scrub this down and pump through. But since we didn't, we're, we're just pulling it right off the bottom. And now we're going to add the oil, engine oil. So just some cheap oil will be fine. Open it up. We're going to pour one quart in and pump that quart through. And then we're going to leave that in the machine until the next juice. And that's how we, we found it today. Perfect. So we're gonna pump just a little bit more through just to get the xylene out of it, or are you gonna pour on top of the xylene? That would try to have a little bit more. Yeah, it's hard to have it completely consistent. So you got your gone switch, and then your dial. There you pump the rest out. He's gonna put his oil in. Boy, that wasn't much difference, was it? All right, so we're just gonna pump that oil through the system till we see oil coming out the end and then we'll just leave it in there. See it turning colors? 
Definitely have oil coming through on one side. We need, oh, there comes the oil on the other side. So you have oil on both sides. Perfect. So always remember, you got your dial for your speed. You got your on off on the bottom down here, right there. And then you also have an on off here. All right, we appreciate you guys joining in. Thanks and have a great day.